Vinny and Rob Show, 1057 The Fan on this Friday. Big tournament this weekend. A classic, I should say. Basketball classic. Shirts versus skins over there at Calvin Hall College High School. Joining us right now in the studio, Brian O'Shea and uh, Baltimore basketball legend, Kurt Lee. What's going on, gentlemen? Hey, thanks for having us on, guys. Oh, thank I you really appreciate time. it. Thank you for your time. And this, yeah. is, this is big right here. Uh, what am I looking at? Eight basketball <laughs> games. Beginning exactly. tomorrow at 4.15. Four, 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 bas- four, four basketball games. Yeah, he's not good at math. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, St. Francis involved in this as well. A couple of local teams involved in this. Calvert Hall, McDonough. You guys did it up. St. Benedict's coming down. This is a good basketball uh, classic. We wanted to do it right the first year. I mean, the first annual Shirts versus Skins basketball classic, you know, it's at least elite high school basketball <laughs> showcase matching up three traditional Baltimore powerhouses in Calvert Hall, St. Francis, and McDonough School. And then they will flex their muscles against out-of-state, you know, um, nationally acclaimed programs in St. Benedict's Prep and also Constitution High School out of uh, Philly. Now, now, Kirk, there's got to be some big names in this with these kind of powerhouse basketball programs. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we got a couple kids from Baltimore that's playing with St. Benedict's that uh, came up in the Baltimore AAU program. Um we got a kid, uh, forgot his name, but uh, he's one of the top guards as a freshman that's playing with St. Benedict. So for him to go away from home and go to St. Benedict's, we wanted to bring him back home. And like Brian said, this is our first year, so we want to bring other local kids. Hey, like Jaden Sadler? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sadler. Um, his brother just transferred to Miami. Miami, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, is the one who transferred from Miami played with my son at St. Francis. Okay, so so Take basically we, we're gonna see some of these kids playing Division One on TV one day with with these teams. Oh yeah, definitely. That, that's that's our goal to to bring a lot of uh, Division One players here to Baltimore. How good is the Constitution Generals from Philadelphia and then St. Benedict's Prep from Newark? Uh, they're we're, they're rated high in. Uh, yeah, well, like uh, St. Benedict's Prep over the last five years, they've been rated by Max Prep as one of the uh, 18th in the country. So they, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of pedigree. And then Constitution finished up uh, like around 121st after last year. Right? What about so they, does? How about St. Francis? How about the local schools? How, how are they rated nationally? Nationally, St. Francis. What do you think, Kirk? Right now, probably. Well, locally, okay. they rank number one. St. Francis yeah. ranked number yeah. one. Um, um, what they Worst call? Calvert Hall and McDonough locally. Locally, probably McDonough's probably three right now. I mean, they, well, they lost, lost Calvert Hall. Hall. Yeah, yeah, that was a big so. game. Yeah, yeah. But and, uh, uh, McDonough was picked to win the Catholic League. So that was surprising. And Calvert Hall has the kid, uh, Justin Gorham, is going to Towson. So. Yeah, he had a monster game the other night. And Bruce Moore was yeah. going to uh, Bucknell. And Daquan um, Bracey was from St. Francis going to Louisiana Tech. Right. Well, so see, see some of the top, t- top schools in the area, top mm-hmm. schools in the country as well. Vinny and Rob show, 105.7 The Fan, Big Shirts versus Skins, a classic this weekend at Calvert Hall, Brian O'Shea, Kirk Lee, and Studio. Uh, Brian, how can folks get, get tickets to this one? We can get tickets at, at Calvert Hall at the, at, the, at the door, or you can go to one of our uh, sponsors like Brick Bodies. Uh, you can go to uh, uh, downtown list locker here. room. Yeah, you can go to downtown locker room, obviously. Uh, signs by tomorrow. Uh, you can go to Sources Saloon, Applebee's. Uh, high tops backstage grill, uh, so we got plenty and, and of all locations. All local schools, all local and, schools, yeah. St. Francis, Calvert, and McDonald. They definitely have tickets. We now, wanted to make sure their student body came out and support. What inspired you to do this? Well, Brian came to me like, like two years ago, and and um, someone told him, "Hey, Kirk Lee is the guy you talk to about you know basketball in Baltimore from my celebrity basketball games I did <laughs> for like ten years." So <laughs> when he came to me, I said, "Hey, that's great because we got to start bringing." local guys back and also bring some powerhouses back to Baltimore. So when he came to me with the idea, we, we sat down for months and months and months and put the pieces together. But uh, like we like we said, when we first put it together, we said we got to crawl before we walk. So we went to get the Finley Preps, the Mathers, but, you know, their schedule was booked. So we, we came back to the drawing right. board and Brown was like, hey, let's get some local guys, local teams, and bring some local um, talent here, and we go from there. Now, now, last year, Vinny and I talked about this at length. It was a great exodus. Lots of local talent leaving here for the prep schools, for other schools. How much does that hurt 
local basketball because it happens here. We saw that we saw that Mount Carmel. We got hit with football and basketball. Yeah. Huge, you know that. Yeah. This kid Montez, yeah. Yeah. Top uh, he, sophomore in the country, exactly. Top yeah. sophomore in the country leaves the area. He yeah. was at Little Mount Carmel. Yeah. But looking at the, the 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 big picture, does that how much does that hurt the Baltimore landscape in high school basketball? Hurts a lot because we want to keep our local talent here. Um, we we don't want other high school teams or prep schools to recruit our kids because we feel like we, we're losing them, and I feel like that we don't have the coaches and and the players here to keep these guys. So it hurt, hurts a lot. So what we try to do is make sure that if they leave, we bring them back and try to play against our local talent. So they're leaving because they think they get better coaching and have better opportunities at these other places. Yeah, better looks, as you know, as kids say, we, we want to go to Division One. Every kid thinks that he's a Division One player, so he wants to go to the, the prep schools and stuff like that. Also, to get an extra year. But I saw the kid Stokes, that that a local Kamal kid, Kamal Stokes, yeah. Stokes. I played high school basketball, high I school baseball, last summer. and and college baseball with his dad. I saw him. He stayed here local. He's playing for. K State last week and dropped what twenty something on North Carolina. So kids have stayed here. Yeah, he did. You know, he he she signed with Toledo. Right. He decommitted. He committed. Went to prep school. I took him out on a circuit last year to Vegas with Team Melo. He had a great great summer, and hey, then he went to prep school and had a great year. And next, you know, K State. He he always thought he could play on a higher level. Oh, I thought he could too. Yeah. So uh, he got the opportunity, and hey. Right now, he's showing it. So, but the kids who stay here, they they've they flourished. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know where the idea comes that you have to leave the flourish. Right. I, th- I think with this this event that we're holding, let, let's grow this thing, and where yeah. the kids will say, you know what? Why don't we stay here? Exactly. We're not playing the shirts versus skins basketball classic. So let's stay here and let's prove to the rest of the country. Let's bring these guys in, flex our muscles, and say, let's see what you got, guys. Vinny and Rob Show 1057 The Fan here with Brian O'Shea and Kurt Lee from the Shirts vs. Skins Basketball Classic at Calvert Hall beginning tomorrow. Two big games tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, sun- uh, Sunday games as well. Tomorrow games at 415, games at 615. You have St. Francis versus Constitution. And 615, you have Calvert Hall versus St. Benedict's. And then on Sunday, you have McDonough versus St. Benedict's and Calvert Hall versus Constitution. Uh, so I'm thinking big. You talk about keeping guys home. You run this thing four or five years. Who knows? Exactly. Someone puts it on TV, Mass and Comcast Sports and that. And then you're right. You all yeah. of a sudden you get the exposure that you want, and and you have AAU kids, high school kids looking forward to playing in the shirts versus skins. And the only way you can do that is, you know, you 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 stay local. That's right. And our we are shooting for getting this nationally televised in the next couple of years. I mean. You know, I joke around with uh, David Gately, the coach of McDonald's School. Every time I see him, he's like, this is national televised yet next year, right? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I said, Dave, you're my publicist next year, mm-hmm. not only a coach. So. How'd you get the name Shirts versus Skins? I love it, but I'm, I'm best curious as well. Well, it's old school. It was uh, playing basketball at uh, Campus Hills back in, you know, you know, 30, 40 years ago. You know, we were always Shirts versus Skins, whether it's uh, basketball or soccer. And it's a, it's a name that... It doesn't just pigeonhole you into the Baltimore region, and we want to go national with this. So it's uh, it just makes sense. Yeah, it was funny to me when he first said, hey, we want to name it Shirts and Skins. I'm saying, hey, <laughs> we should do Shirts and Skins when we were little. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we, we were at, we played a game at Bryn Mall on Monday, Vinny, and to be honest with you, you know, there are lots of signs on that wall, but it stood out to me because it says Shirts versus Skins. I'm like, uh, you know, it, it caught my interest because of the name of it. So mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you, the name of it itself you see, let's be honest. You see classic in tournaments all the time. Right. Everybody's trying to throw one. Right. But the name itself is what caught my attention because shirts versus skins. Now, the, the local teams that are playing in it, uh, you got to think they're well invested in this as well because they have some guys, I'm sure they want to test. If you're St. Francis, you want to test yourself against Constitution. So exactly. it's it's a yeah. win-win for them as well. Exactly. It's a good competition for, for our guys. And also, I get a lot of questions why we haven't brought any local uh, public schools. So I said, first year, we want to try out private schools, and next year, we want to bring in some public schools. Now, what do you have to do to entice the elite programs from around the country to come here? Put on a good, a good show this first year. And you get to pay their expenses and all that kind of stuff yes, to get you here? do. Yeah. yeah you, you really, uh, really? Oh, yeah. Because you, you want them, I was telling Brian, when we first started putting together, we want them to say, hey, I want to come back there next year. They, they treat us very, very well. And, um, 
we make sure that we feed the kids, first class everything, uh, transportation, hotel. Oh, you, you yeah. pay for everything. Yeah, we oh, pay yeah. For everything. yeah. It is, yes. Yeah, so. It's an expense. Yeah. Same but, thing with me when I did my celebrity game. My first year, I said, man, I got to get a lot of sponsors because it's going to be a lot of money. Michael Vick was at that one year. Yeah, I know, so, at least one year. So uh, I had to put them up in a hotel and make sure they get fed, and make sure they get transportation to and from, airplane flights, limousine service. So we feel like it's the same thing. Yeah. That, was for, that was for the celebrities. That was yeah, for the celebrities, no, not for the kids. Yeah. Mm. No, but like if you're a team from, you know, and they ask you to come from LA, why why not? It'd be a great experience, especially because yeah, it flight. doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, it's, we we was gonna fly a team from Kentucky. They ranked they had it was a really young team out of Bowling Green and they had a couple of nationally ranked kids and uh we were gonna fly them in. They had a game on Friday. Well no, early Saturday, and we was gonna fly them out Saturday evening, but the the uh, principal said no. At first, they said no because they didn't think we was going to do it. It's like, well, it, people always say they're going to fly our team and they'll do this, do that. So they, we, we're not, we're not going to do it. So Brian was, Brian was a little upset about that. but uh, We uh, rallied and got Constitution. Yeah. I, I picked up the phone right away. I went right down the list. I was like, boom, boom, boom. I started hitting it. And, and uh, Coach Robert Moore was like, you know what? I have a game Saturday, but... You know, I always get scheduled for these tournaments, and I'm doing a couple others with this guy later on. He says he he loved our concept and the mission. He called me back a day later. He says, I'm in. Really? So we That's filled good. up to that last spot. But, you know, let's not kid ourselves. Baltimore is a basketball town. Yes, I mean, high school, high school, school basketball, basketball yeah, town. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is – people love basketball. And, you know, you got the players like Juan Dixon – David Wingate, Muggsy Bogues, and yeah, you got to invite so royalty far. out. You yeah. have to invite Baltimore royalty out. You yeah. did that with getting Kurt involved, right? But you also had to get some some of the other guys from from your alma mater, yeah. from Calvin Hall, and yeah. places like that. Yeah. I mean, you went to school basically idolizing the the Wingates. It's probably what drove you to Dunbar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. just a, a tradition at Dunbar. You know, and watching these guys when I was growing up and always wanted to play, I said, "Hey, let me." Say, let's go to Dunbar. You know, that's a tradition. Calvin Hall was definitely a tradition back there with Dwayne Farrell and yeah. Teddy Oliver and, and the rest of them guys, uh, Mark Wilson, Pop Tubman. Right. So, uh, so is this Hall a recruiting Dunbar. time where college coaches can come or not? Uh, oh, absolutely. Yes. Definitely. yes. Definitely. That's so, how yeah. you plan it. You plan it yeah. with that. So, in mind. so we make sure that yeah. all the college coaches get invites yeah, yeah. and stuff like that so they can recruit. Where does the kids. proceeds go? Is it uh, charity or this is a. It, it's. It is. We're doing diabetes awareness. We're going to throw some money towards the American Diabetes Association and also the Kirk Lee Foundation. Kirk's been so kind to lend his pedigree to the whole organization. Uh, but we were. This this event is about the kids. Yeah, the first year teaching is the kids. About the kids yeah. I mean, teaching them how to be a uh, be a good sport. Sportsmanship is important. Shake some, shake the other player's hand. You know, from the opposing team, look them in the eye. And also, we want to teach them about diabetes awareness. Yeah. That's important to us. What do these kids get? You know, what package does each kid get? I'm, I'm sure, you know, are they allowed to receive? Uh, no, not no, right not now. Not to the college. Not yeah, not yeah. Not yeah. Not no? Now. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So, no. we, 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 we. Like, you go to a tournament, you know, you get, you nah. know, like, you go to a bowl game, you <laughs> yeah. get warm-up right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we're working on yeah. that. Hopefully, Under Armour sits in our backyard. I hope they come on board next year and help us out. Vinny, you don't know this, man, but when I was, like, a freshman in high school in Baltimore Sun, still covered high school sports, like, like in the paper, you would every every day you would look in the paper and you would see player of the week, player of the month, yeah. Kurt Lee. Really? <laughs> yeah. When I was growing up, then then ended up at at Towson. Then it I mean, became Rob Long. No, no, no. Yeah, football <laughs> wise, football wise, and went on uh, New Jersey Nets. Am I right? Yes, sir. Huh? New Jersey said, Nets. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when, when growing up, you know, as far as your pe the guy, your peers that you looked up to, a lot of people in town was Kurt Lee. Guys, congratulations to you. Good luck to you. I, like I said, I'm gonna get through there on Sunday. Right. Brian O'Shea, Kirk Lee, uh, I hope this thing blows up. That'd, That'd be, be cool. You well, get like a, you know, one, you know, one versus two. You yeah, know, where absolutely. you get that Walk type of matchups. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's our goal. We yeah. want, or mm -hmm. even better, you get like the top recruits. And you know, well, that's what we're, that's the way we're doing. Hopefully, we're the college down. coaches come and see some of the good players they they overlook. And if you and if you if you get some college players uh, coaches in the door. Then you have to let the world know. That's the good thing about social media. Yeah, no doubt. Got to. That's the good thing about social media. Hey, don't forget tomorrow, this weekend in general, shirts versus skins, 415, 615. Tomorrow you got St. Francis versus Constitution, Calvert Hall versus St. Benedict's. And on Sunday at 1.30 you have McDonough versus St. Benedict's. And at 3.30 you have Calvert Hall versus Constitution. It's at Calvert Hall College High School. Get over there and support the kids.